You've spoken about the strength of the planning that went into uh, the games and, uh, and all the surrounding events, and, uh, and uh, that really brings us back to the cauldron. Um, I don't want to sound unkind here, but did it not cross anyone's mind that putting the flame and all the ideals that represents behind a kind of ratty-looking prison camp fence would be a public relations screw-up? I think we don't we don't go into anything looking looking to make it difficult or challenging or um, an unpleasant experience for anyone. Our goal in Tom and everything that we've done to get ready for the games is to is to make it as pleasant um, and as um, enjoyable an experience for everyone involved. Uh, so no, that wasn't our intention. Our intention with the flame was was to create a permanent legacy cauldron that would live in the memory of Jack Poole, our former chairman of our board, who invested so much of his life in the games, and to put it in a very prominent place so that for the citizens of the region and visitors who are coming in in years to come, that it would, it would stand there as a tribute to him and to the games in a very special spot. Does, that special spot, has turned, it, as it turned out, was inside the security perimeter for the international broadcast compound and, and press compound. Um, perhaps we did underestimate the degree to which people would want to get uh, closer to it than they are. As I said earlier, the key is to recognize, the, uh, recognize that desire to move quickly, and I'm confident we'll have a plan in place tomorrow that we'll have people at a vantage point to see the cauldron that they'll be very happy with.